so hello and assalamu alaikum uh, this is the continuation of uh, lecture number 9 in which uh, we were uh, discussing about the environmental impacts of fossil fuel so in this part i will discuss discuss about the impacts of coal on our environment basically there are two main methods that are in practice for the mining of coal the first one is the mountain top remo removal or mountain top mining and the second one is the underground mining so mountain top removal involves removal of excess soil and rocks above the coal seams and dumping them into valleys and it is termed as valley filling this type of mining is also hit by economic downturn caused by the decline of local coal industry results from uh, a research published in 2011 indicate that mountain top mining areas in particular are associated with lowest health related quality of life when compared to the countries which use other forms of coal mining the air and water pollution caused by this mining practice which involves uh, deforestation and tearing of mountain top in order to get to the coal reservoirs is leading to increase in cardiovascular diseases basically due to air pollution and lung cancer and other birth defects tragically 500 mountains have been destroyed up till now using mountain top removal and mountain top removal mining has already destroyed 1 million acres of central landscape in southern areas the environmental damage caused by the mountain top removal mining across uh, the landscape has been well documented but scientists are now beginning to understand that the mining operator mining operations uh, are will cause most lasting damage caused by the massive amount of uh, landfills they uh, which they call valley filling it will basically destroy the water stream valley uh, filling uh, blocks the water streams and also uh, contam uh, contamination uh, in air and water streams is also harmful to the aquatic life so regulations are required that affect the area to be reclaimed restoration of the forest in this area is not required the second method is the underground mining that is considered less uh, pollutant because uh, a uh, hole is basically drilled or a mine is uh, basically uh, dug underneath the surface of the earth but there are chances that these mines can collapse any time but the downside of underground mining is that huge amounts of waste earth and rock has to be brought back to the earth surface and that waste Uh, often becomes toxic when it comes in contact with uh, air and water 
also it lowers the water table and changes the flow of underground water stream also emissions are vented out in and if uh, they are not properly vented out the coal bed methane can explode in underground mine which can claim life so this is the effect of coal bed uh, uh, sorry mountain top removal of of coal mining which shows that the whole forest has been cut down and the mountain top is completely destroyed so now i will uh, discuss about the environmental effects of uh, coal that are basically caused when the coal is burned on the left side the column depicts the emissions which include sulfur uh, sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxides particles carbon dioxide mercury and other heavy met metals fly ash and bottom ash the first one is sulfur dioxide acid rain can cause health problem that is basically caused due to the presence of sulfur dioxide in our environment air pollution uh, which includes uh, sulfur dioxide and nit nitrogen oxides can particularly cause respiratory illness or if someone has already been diagnosed with uh, respiratory disorder this these types of uh, disorders can basically become worse in the presence of uh, these oxides sulfur dioxide respiratory illnesses uh, which uh, may be caused due to inhalation of uh, these compounds include asthma and other chronic respiratory disorders which makes it difficult for people to breathe the second compound is uh, the compound of nitrogen oxide nitrogen monoxide and nitrogen dioxide are the main components which are basically released into the atmosphere after the coal is burned breathing low levels of nitrogen oxides may cause brief non specific uh, symptoms like cough or shortness of breath breathness and tiredness and nausea however even if removed from the exposure a person who has breath uh, who has been breathing with air who, which is rich in nitrogen oxide emission can develop more serious lung injuries the third one is particulates which uh, form smoke haze and they also contribute in respiratory diseases the next one is carbon dioxide which basically contributes main uh, which are, which is the main uh, contributing factor in greenhouse gases the next one is mercury and other heavy metals short term exposure to uh, metallic mercury vapors at higher levels can lead to can lead to uh, vomiting and nausea and skin rashes diarrhea and lung damage it also causes high blood pressure 
and other diseases while short term exposure to organic mercury poisoning can lead in depression and headaches and fatigue and memory problem mercury exposure may also lead to baldness and hair loss the next one is the fly ash and the bottom ash these are the basically ready residues of coal in coal power plants which are used in generating electricity and the other industries like steel and glass